sur la terre naïve, la mort est diluvienne. El barrido y una red y arrastre a lo largo del lecho. Tata Storino, una nota mi, acá acá tú. Europa fata murkana, ango Europa lo chadikere. Das Poesiefestival Berlin gibt es seit äh, gibt es in der 18. Auflage. Wir haben 2000 eben gestartet. Wir haben auch immer in, entlang der Dinge, die in der Welt passierten, natürlich äh, uns bemüht, dem auch äh, Geltung zu verschaffen. Und die Welt war nie so äh, in so einem katastrophalen, bedrohlichen Zustand wie zur Zeit. Und somit und Europa ist da sehr betroffen, ist ja noch mittendrin. Ähm, somit lag es nahe, dann nach ähm, Brüche, Kapital, kein schöner Land, das Thema des letzten Jahres in diesem Jahr Europa zu setzen und zwar Vater Morgana. Europa sucht sich und die EU kurz davor auseinanderzufliegen, jetzt wohl nicht mehr so, äh, braucht etwas, was sie wieder äh, in, in die Gänge bringt und das ist nicht der Binnenmarkt oder nicht nur der Binnenmarkt, sondern äh, da geht es schon darum, dass man es mit Werten zu tun hat. Das ist nämlich das, was diese EU oder dieses Europa, die Idee von Europa gegenüber allen anderen Formatierungen in der Welt als Besonderes herausstellt. Die Hommes sind auf der Recherche von Gloire. Ich habe mich gefühlt, dass ich mich nicht fühlen würde. Ich will einfach zuhören und vielleicht Sie anstiften zum Zuhören, so dass Europa für einmal still sein könnte. I used to play music and I wasn't good enough to play, you know, with other people. Like I wanted to play together with others, like in jazz and stuff, but I wasn't good enough. And I liked to paint. And then I, um, I started writing poems that I thought, well. Maybe I could publish this. I, I, I think it's good enough, you know, maybe. And in fact, it turned out the person who accepted those poems is now the British Poet Laureate, Karen Duffy. So it was a nice way to start um, being accepted by other poets that she should like my work because, uh, you know, I obviously admired hers. I hate poetry before. <laughs> I mean, when I was in school, I really like a guy that liked poetry, but I didn't like poetry. And uh, in 2004, it was kind of an, let's say, affair with Hebrew. So I fell in love uh, in our language. I think that maybe for me, poetry, it's, let's say, the best possibility uh, to touch infinity. I mean, I sort of feel like poetry is already 3D. And, uh, and so the idea was not to try and add something to a poem, but rather uh, create something on the spot together that worked in relation to movement, gesture, words, language, and sound. Du tippst aufs Titelbild der Zeitung mit einem fragenden Blick. Sag, was machen die Soldaten mit dem Mann? Ist das Krieg? Dann tipp dein Finger in das Bild und direkt in die Wunde. Das sind drei gegen eins. Was sind das für feige Hunde? Ich geh da jetzt hin. Und dann sind wir schon zwei. Nimm den Ninja Turtle mit. Mach dann drei gegen drei. Vier. Fünf. Sechs. Sieben. Acht. Neun. Zehn. Ich komme. Zu spät. Und dann fragst du mich, ob das, was du zu viel hast, an anderer Stelle fehlt. Wieso es nicht genug für alle gibt auf der Welt. Und, Und ich, ich antworte, antworte, es wird so getan, als wäre die Kindheit eine Form von Blindheit gegenüber den Grausamkeiten unserer Welt. Als, als ob, ob keine Traumblase gleiten würde zur Realität. Und plopp. Plop. И се хрпно по часи и ближа на робудъски. Ургавата мгена на Ива Суреро, на собра за спагетти. Ме пари са дрен, бърпе две дали ве мои. Пахтат ме золоти, лешбахно аздирието и мусетери лъзмина. Зон е буклент поем. 
that engages with history. The history of one particular tragic and barbarous incident of the drowning of over 150 enslaved Africans. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk in terms of progress, do you know? The measure of what is being brought to bear against us, it's, it, it's a macabre thing, but is a testament to our strength. You figure me. I'm a philosopher of rhetoric. I study argument. I study how images make an argument, how arguments are persuasive, in that the world picture of the caliphate is highly poetical because it uses one of the four uh, methods of legal reasoning you have in Islam, which is the use of analogy. An analogy can be an image, a metaphor, an allegory. Uh, analogy covers all that. Analogy is the, the very basis of fiction and poetry. Imagine what the Soviet Union would have achieved if the internet had been in place. I think the Berlin Wall would have never fallen. Eh, y sí, digamos, no, no, no creo que siempre mi poesía haya sido política. Más bien la, la conciencia política es, es una, una adquisición que se da en el tiempo. Eh, pero bueno, por otro lado, nuestro continente, Sudamérica, es, un, es una zona que está muy tramada, por supuesto, por la política. Y probablemente desarrollar en el tiempo una conciencia política hace no que nada sea más fácil pero sí que sea más intrigante when when we are organizing these kind of programs and you think about bringing uh, inviting poets to come to your city and there are lots of things you have to consider what i think is that it's very very important that you really are able to to promote this um, meeting and encounter between poets and authors and people who, who enjoy similar things and can have interesting um, debates or discussions. And sometimes, or maybe usually, this does not happen in the first fi five minutes that we are talking to somebody. So let them be together and then maybe these new ideas or big questions will come up and who knows from there, it can be a starting point to go somewhere else further. I can say that right from the beginning, for me, uh, there was poetry and there was music. Poetry is happening in music, it's happening uh, in oral traditions all over the place, you know, uh, between people as games, you know, or, or whatever. For me, it's always been important that the contribution of poetry uh, uh, to a political uh, discussion is poetry. That there will always be poets in this world, you know. The, a 13-year-old somewhere will get this strange idea that uh, he or she has to write poetry, that the, that the world needs another poem. It's beautiful. I don't know why it happens. I don't know why it happened to me. You're never too young to start publishing poetry. Just do it. Publish the first book. And immediately, when you have the first book in your hand, uh, start writing the second one. And I think, uh, uh, I think the solution to the ills of the world uh, is more poetry, you know, is more uh, creative contribution to the world. Because one of the things that the right always does, and uh, the demagogues and the dictators, is to limit the use of language, is to try to rein language in.